Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video we're going to be trying Color Zap. This is actually one color remover I have never tried before but I've heard amazing things about it. I've heard this works really really good at getting rid of like blue and green colors which you know are very difficult to remove out of the hair. I do know it is like a bleach based color remover so it is going to create a little bit of damage but I've heard really great things about it. I've never heard like it makes your hair fall out. Also it is by L'Oreal which obviously L'Oreal and Redken are like owned by the same people. It's like L'Oreal owns Redken. So it's more, in my mind, it's more of a like professional products because it's a L'Oreal brand. So we're gonna try this today. Again, I have never tried this before. So the package says washes away all permanent hair color. Ideal for color correction, removal of dark shade, muddy or uneven results, or color buildup. Leaves hair ready for immediate recoloring. So it doesn't say anything about semi-permanent on the front. It actually says permanent hair color. But I've seen so many people use this on uh, semi-permanent hair and it's worked wonders. So inside there are only two ingredients. There is the hair color remover powder and then there is the activator. So this looks just like bleach powder does. I don't know if you can tell it's like a blue bleach powder and then I'm guessing this is like the developer so let me read the instructions real quick so the back of the package says color zap removes all unwanted permanent hair color and leaves hair ready for a new shade application color zap is ideal for all color corrections and will allow you to make any desired color changes so it kind of says like it works on everything it says color zap will not restore hair to its original natural color it removes the tint revealing the underlying base from which the natural color has been removed in the hair coloring process. Plan to recolor to a new shade immediately following the removal of the previous tint. Read the instructions printed on the inside of the carton carefully. It contains important health and safety information. It also says when should you use Colors app. When you need to remove an existing dark tint to color in a lighter shade. Color does not lift color. Applying a light shade on a dark shade of permanent hair color will not achieve a lighter color. That is true. It also removes unwanted dark spots to even out color. Remove color buildup on links and ends to achieve an even color result from root to ends or clean up a muddy looking color, the result from too many color changes. And then it goes on to say, in all cases, Color Zap will leave a clean base to recolor and will enable you to achieve an even natural looking, beautiful shade with great clarity of tones. It also does say for professional use only. I do have a like professional Sally Beauty card, so I, I'm not sure if you have to have the pro card in order to get this. I don't think you do because I've seen a lot of other people use it who are not licensed, so. I'm not really sure about that. It does say for professional use only, but I've seen a lot of non-professional people use it. So I am not sure. So inside the packaging, there's actually a really great like timing chart down here. I'm just gonna go over it with you guys. So what you're wanting to remove out of the hair depends on how long you're gonna leave it on for and how you're gonna mix it up. There are several different options where you can use the activator or you can choose not to use the activator or AKA the developer. It basically gives options. If you wanna remove this, this is what you do. So there is a chart here and it says a light excess of tint or dark spots or an excess of unwanted tones. You're not gonna use the activator. You're gonna pour two fluid ounces of warm deiodized water into the applicator containing the remover powder. Leave it on five to 20 minutes. If you wanna remove light shades of tint from a level seven to 10, darker blondes, red blondes to a very light blonde. Again, you're not gonna use the activator. You're gonna do the same thing. Two ounces of warm deiodized water and then leave that on 10 to 20 minutes. And then we get into the medium shades of tint from level four to six, which is dark browns, auburns, light browns. You're gonna pour the activator into the remover powder, leave it on 20 to 30 minutes. And then for dark shades of tint from level one to three, which is like the blacks and the darkest browns, you're gonna pour the activator bottle into the package that has the remover powder and you're gonna process 50 minutes to one hour. So you can leave this on for up to one hour, but it, again, it just depends on what you're looking for. So obviously I don't need to remove any color out of my hair today and I would not use this on my hair just because it is a bleach based color remover and I'm trying to, you know, be healthy to my hair. So we have this wig that I just dyed not too long ago. 
Um, I used Good Die Young's new colors on it. If you have not seen this video, I will leave a link to it right up there so you can watch that and come back. So I decided I want to try and remove this out of the wig. I just feel like there are so many more uses I could get out of this wig. Also, when I use color removers, I like to try it on rainbow shades so that way you guys get a very good idea of what colors it's better at removing than others. So we obviously have every color of the rainbow here. We're gonna test this and see if it can remove every color of the rainbow or if maybe it's just better at removing blues and greens or pinks and oranges. So we're gonna try every color. I am going to use the activator and mix it into the powder so let's go ahead and open this up and try it i'm gonna go ahead and pour the activator into the bottle with the powder and it just looks like water it doesn't look like developer it just looks like it's water but i know it is some sort of like clear developer i'm gonna mix this together i'm just gonna put on my gloves i'm actually pretty surprised that this product doesn't come with gloves it doesn't come with anything except for those two um, ingredients, the activator and the powder. I wish it came with a pair of gloves since this is a bleach based product. Uh, I'm sure it would cause some sort of like reaction on your hands. I love this top. You just flip it up and you're ready to use it. So let's go ahead and try it, shall we? Okay, like I said, we're just gonna be trying to remove this today. I also wanna mention there is a little line on the bottle that says water line. So if you're not gonna use the activator, you would just fill it up to here with the water. So I guess let's just go in for it. I'm just gonna dump this on the hair and I'm not sure how long I'm gonna leave it on for. I don't think I'm gonna leave it on for like a set amount of time. I feel like I could fry the hair very easily by doing that. So I am going to like watch it as it processes and we're gonna see how quickly this lifts color. It is very, very easy to saturate because it is liquid. I will say there's not really that much product in the container. If you were trying to do your whole head, I feel like you would at least need two bottles. If your hair is a little bit longer and thicker, you're probably gonna need like three or four bottles of this. Because it's runny, it does saturate the hair easier, but there's just not that much product in one bottle. I feel like for my natural hair, I would probably probably need two bottles to completely saturate. When doing color removers and stuff, you don't wanna mess around with not having enough product. It's so important when you like bleach your hair or do color removers to make sure everything is saturated. And I'm talking like completely coated, like wet almost. So as this is processing, it smells so much like the Joyco color eraser. Like the scents are pretty much the same. So if you have used the Joyco color eraser, this smells exactly like it. It kind of has like a bleach smell to it, but not like a strong normal bleach. It's like the color remover bleach. If you guys know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, I can start to see the pink starting to remove a little bit. It's starting to become like a salmon color. I'm gonna make sure I get up here by the hairline. Okay, so the hair is definitely soaked really well. As you can see, it is so saturated and I do just have a little bit of product left. I'm just gonna use it all and really, really soak this section. I don't really see much happening to some of the other colors, but the pink, I definitely can see is starting to come out. And if you look at my gloves, I can see color starting to come off on my gloves. I see some orange on my gloves. I see some green and some pink. Now keep in mind, this hair was dyed and never washed. It was just dyed one time and rinsed out. Obviously, if you wash your hair several times after dyeing it, color removers will probably work better because you don't have as much dye left in the hair. This is dyed once and never washed, only rinsed out the color. So if this works on this hair, that's gonna be a true testament to how good this product is. Okay, so we have everything saturated really well. I mean, it's coated super, super well. As you can see, the product is completely coated the hair. I'm just gonna let this process. I feel like honestly, it might take like an hour to remove all of this color. I'll probably just leave it on an hour and see what happens, but I am gonna check it like every 10, 15 minutes to see how the colors are lifting. So I'm just gonna let this process at room temperature. I'm not gonna use heat or anything. I'm just gonna let it process at open air at room temperature. And I will come back to you guys once I have rinsed this off. I am gonna shampoo it and deep condition it. And we're gonna see how well this works. I'm hoping it works good. I've heard amazing things. So we will see if it lives up to the hype. I'll be back once I wash this out and I will let you know how long I had to leave it on for. All right, I am back. I set a timer for 30 minutes and I let it process the whole time. It did a pretty good job. Let me show you. 
I would definitely say this is a success and it worked really well. Obviously, you can see the colors that are left are the orange, which is still very vibrant, and then the blue color. But it's very interesting because the blue isn't the same shade it was beforehand. Like this blue is more of like a denim blue. It's not even the same color that I put on there. So like the color remover must have skewed the blue tone a little bit. Um, but for the most part, it removed the pink, the purple, the green, the yellow really, really well. Like it removed the color really well. And even at the root area, where the orange was, it removed it a lot better. Keep in mind, this was on color that had never been washed before. It was just freshly dyed and had never been washed or anything. So for just putting color on the hair and trying to remove it, it did a really good job. Like I'm very, very impressed with this. And I, I feel like this would work so much better if you did wash your hair and it was faded a little bit before you use this. I feel like it would probably remove all of your color if you had washed it a few times and you were trying to strip out the color instead of just jumping straight to this. I will say the hair does feel a little gummy. It's not too bad. Um, wigs normally are way over processed anyway. So when you put bleach or a color remover on wigs that are this platinum, most of the time it's going to feel a little bit gummy just because of how overly processed process these wigs are. It doesn't feel too bad though. I would say it's probably one of the more gentle color removers I've tried. Uh, just follow up with like a deep conditioning treatment or a protein treatment of some sort and I feel like the hair would be fine. Like, I am very very impressed with how well this works. Definitely one of the better color removers that Sally Beauty has to offer. Overall it did a really good job at removing like most of those rainbow colors. I will leave a link to the L'Oreal Colors app in the description down below in case you guys want to try it. It. I also want to know if you guys have tried this before and how well it worked on your hair. I know it's a very common product and I've seen a lot of people use it before. So let me know if you guys have tried this and what color your hair was and if it did a good job at removing or if it didn't remove the color out of your hair. I feel like a lot of people probably had really good experiences with it and it did a good job at removing the color. That's just from what I've seen on the internet. It has a pretty good reputation at removing vivid colors. That is all for today today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love testing out like hair products and color removers on wigs or extensions, not necessarily having to be on my hair. You guys know Hair Health Journey 2022. I am not messing with my hair. It needs a break. It's getting a break. We're growing it out. She's doing great. But I still love to test these products for you guys. So being able to do it on wigs and mannequins and stuff like that is very fun for me. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much. And until next time, guys, stay weird. Bye.